There are a lot of ways to do Sui Toshi. Seoyo Toshi means, means to carry over across the back, okay? Otoshi means to drop, drop down with control, kind of trapping you too. So we're going to work on actually two methods of doing it. It's a great standard throw, and we're going to work on two methods of it. We're going to work on one where the, where the knee is between his legs, and the other one where the knee is in front of it or outside of the tie Otoshi. We'll work on this first one. So, I'm going to have Eric throw, or Derek throw Eric. Uh, just go ahead and throw him once and kind of take a look at it. Okay? Now, watch, watch Derek's right knee. Watch Derek's right knee. See that? that where that right knee points, is where he wants to put Eric. Okay. So when you're doing this, whether you're doing a, a rotate style, both hands, or the guy, the lapel, or you show the pawn style, which I'm a big tall guy, I like the pawn style, in any of those ways, in the hand configurations, you want to do is you're cutting the standard sail, semi naggy type thing, but you're going to drop on one knee, and that's going to be between his legs. Now, you can have your foot here, you can have your foot out here. I would recommend having it a little wider so you get more power into your throw when you finish. Okay. But if you want to have it here, that's fine too. But you're still going to be driving off that foot. So there's the situation you're going to be throwing. And again, you want to stay round. You want to be round under him and roll him and actually torque him so hard over, his bo over your body. So that's what you're doing. So let's take a look at that. And just do it real slow. Comes on in, and, and he comes in, and look at the drop on that. You see him? It's hard to be slow, actually. Now, when he drops on his knee, turn around with your, your, your back. Watch, when he comes in, watch his right foot. Now, don't throw him, he's just come on in and fit in. Now, look, see that? He's on his toe. He's not flat on his toe, flat on his you don't want to be there. You want to be there. See that? That's bad. Now do the good thing. There you go. That's a good thing. That's what you want to be. So let's turn it about. That way you can drive off it for the need to. Right? So watch when he comes in. He fits in. Now did you notice his left leg as well? He kind of, which I like, put it out to the side of it. Some people put it just in front of him. Either way is good. Whatever works better for you. Okay? I, I find out wider allows me to kind of turn. Yeah, that's a really good point. Right here, which again makes him fall right there. If it's out here like this, I have a tendency to throw right there, and that's less powerful. That's a good point. Derek brought up a good point because a lot of people who have the foot here, they have to, he's loaded in, he has to use more strength to jack me up and over his body. If he puts his foot out to the side more, see how he can stay rounded? And he has more rotational torque there, you know, really slam it. So I think that works. That's why I prefer that method as well. One more time, and Eric loves this, but look one. Now, again, whether it's a Ponsuenagi, Morote, or Eddie Snail, any, any of those work. But you can do double sleeve, either one. But uh, let's just watch his feet, maybe, okay? Classic Sayonara Toshi. And we're going to do another version a little bit later. Let's get good at this one first, okay? Let's look at another, okay, we're doing Seiyai Toshi. Let's look at another form of this, okay? Now, fundamentally, guys, fundamentally, guys, there are, there are two types of Seiyai Toshi. Okay, one where, like, one knee's gonna be between his legs, 
Then the knees on the outside are wider than his legs. See, that's, that's the first one we just did. And the second one is where your leg is outside. Can you see the, the right knee in this particular case? All right. So we're going to look at this form of it. And a lot of forms of Sailor Toshi, we're going to look at this. So this one, you flip on. Okay. What we can do is you pull on Sayanagi, Eddie Sayanagi, Rote, any of these fine. But watch what Derek will do here when he comes in. He's going to do a complete turn to his body. And watch when he drops. Bam. See that? See how he's... Now, he was actually turning and facing this direction so he can turn his whole body into the throat. Some of you taller guys may like. Some of you taller guys may like. There you go. It looked very much like the first form where you were dropping on one knee. But that one, your knee was between his legs. This one, you're rotating a lot in your body with your near opposite side and then dropping. So let's look at this again. Head like normal, wide foot out, base. Okay, where you want your foot to be, and then you should just be able to drop the knee down right over there. See how that rotation of the body is facing to his left, he's throwing over his right hip. The hand action is very much like any Sayanagi action, whatever it may be. But in this case, we're rotating so deeply, you taller guys, like I said, may like this form of Sayanagi. Shorter guys like it too. It's basically almost like a Tayotoshi, which we're going to come to in a second here to finish up. And listen to it one more time. He just comes in, he just spins. There you go. And his foot here, you can keep it knee bent or you can stick it out wide, whichever you prefer. Some guys may like this and they get a little more rotation at the end. Can you show that one just as a variation? You may like to extend your left leg, your base leg. See here like that? Some of you may have it more straight. That's the case? Fun. So you may want to bend slightly where you're, where you're coming in and doing this, just like this form here. I still demonstrate that when I put the power into it. Again, the nice thing about Sayatoshi, there's a lot of torque, there's a lot of body rotation, and you really control them. It's a really hard throw to resist. It's a hard throw to counter against because he's dropping under his opponent's center of gravity. That's one of the big things you like about Sayatoshi. You're not, you're not up so high. When you drop below a center of gravity, it's just like sucking them into a, you know, a, a vortex or something, yeah. There you go, yeah, big word of yeah. All right, one more time, and we'll let guys press. So here we come to Sayo There you go, all right? Let's give it a go, we'll try that for you. We've been working on Sayo Toshi tonight, and there are a lot of ways to do Sayo Toshi. Sayo means to carry over the back, what you may call the shoulder. Uh, the shoulder drop, okay, carry over the back drop. Now, we're going to do a, another Sayatoshi that some of you taller guys may like, okay? Well, the shorter guy may like it too, uh, but if you're a Tayotoshi guy, you really like this. Because you're going to be basically doing a Tayotoshi with a Sayanagi grip. But when you're doing this, you're not using it as a hand technique like this. It's still a hand technique, I'll give you a call. Or shoulder technique. You're not going to be doing this, you're going to be wrapping it tight and rotating. So it's a little more powerful throw. It's more of a powerful style of Tayotoshi, really, than we're doing here. So can you just demo just one of them? There you go. So it's what that look like. It's like Tayotoshi with a Sayanagi grip, because that's really what it is. So we combine the two, we combine Sayanagi and Tayotoshi. So it's very obvious that now Sayotoshi. The key thing here is, generally in Tayotoshi, when I'm throwing it, I'm throwing it a lot over my leg. Sayotoshi, I'm throwing it more over my hip and the back. I'm carrying it over my back. So he needs to carry over the back. So that's what we're doing here. So when you watch him, you'll see that's what he's doing with Eric. It's more of a shoulder throw and less of over the leg, less of a hand throw. Even though they're both classified as Tewaza in Judo, hand techniques, it, this is much more about using the shoulder and rotation of the body than with the hands. Okay? So when you come to the wrestle, basically, you put on the wrestle. He punched out, okay? He's coming in, and it's going to be looking just like Tayotoshi, everybody. When he spins in, don't throw yet. See this? There's the rope. But notice here, ball of foot. He can flex, he doesn't want to hurt his opponent's knee, okay? But he's got more hip in here than he would if he had Tayotoshi. And he's 
floating about the water on the upper body. When he goes in and completes the throw, he's using him more over the hip and more over the, the shoulder and the back action. So that's what makes it a Seiwe Matoshi, right? Subtle differences, but they're there. And it's fun to know those subtle differences because you might think I can, I can make it, uh, this will be working for me as opposed to Tayotoshi may not. So I want you to know those differences. Okay. Any questions on that? Uh, so just like with the rest of them, you really have to control the shoulder. And how you do that is entirely dependent upon you. But just realize that whatever grip we're taking, it's this lead shoulder that I'm controlling when I come through. So as I'm coming around, you notice that it comes with it. So whenever my shoulder is moving, his is right there. That way, when I do flex, and since he's coming over the back, he comes right over with it. Any space in between there is going to kill your, your sailor. You know, and here's a good point. We talk about staying around all the time. Here's a good example. If, if, if I came in and tried to launch him forward, and fall forward, I don't have any control over my body or his ego. You notice when, when Eric, when Derek is throwing Eric, he's putting him down right in front of him. And this, I mean, he's, it's a precise throw. He, he, he knows exactly, because there, I can follow up with some kind of a ground technique, or I just threw him really hard at the end of the fight. You know, so it could be that too. Notice Derek, throw, get that little Frankie style pop. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah the Jim Franklin, we picked up off Jim. A little pop at the end. Show that a little bit, because that's, that's pretty good showing. Again, once we're coming through, since I have my legs flexed, I can actually pop up from it. Okay? And then the back of my thigh, as I'm popping, it gives me a spring, but the back of the thigh is actually connecting with his leg, sending him back over that one. Great point, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> and you know, she said that when he was taking the fall. Yeah. But you got the idea. You see how that spring was there? And that's, that added more, more power, more force to the throw. I mean, it, you launched him. And he ended the fight right there. Okay? Because this is one of those throws that can end the fight. Whether it's a street fight, judo match, sambo match, whatever it may be, you can clock him. MMA match. MMA, whatever. But you notice how he put him right in front of him. He didn't have to land on him to control and finished with good control. He didn't need to fall down, right? So Sarai Toshi, this is more of a Tai Toshi style, but it's still Sarai Toshi, right? Let's work on that. We'll get it.